Hi beautiful, take a look at what just arrived. I am so excited. My Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana palette is here with all of its pink packaging goodness. Besides this palette on the first Pat McGrath holiday release date, which was Friday last week, I also ordered one of the colored mascaras. This one is in the shade Aquamarine Dream, which is this like really beautiful light teal shade. Not sure how I'm going to use this one today to show you, but I'll try my best. But anyways, let's get into the palette in today's video. I'm going to do a couple of looks. I'm going to do some swatches and of course just tell you my overall opinion on whether or not I think this palette is worth it. I am so excited to open it up and see it in person. So let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> Before I even get it out of the box, take a look right here at the stunning outer packaging that this palette has. I really love all of the gold figurines and how like balanced this palette is. It's got the same things on each side. And then the front is a little textured. You can feel, I don't know if it's a sticker, it might be a sticker, but you, it's like raised. So you can feel the foil raised with your finger and let's go ahead and open the palette. Once you get it out of the box you pretty much have the exact same thing on the inside and then on the back side right here it has a sticker with all of the names of the shades that the palette has. This limited edition palette claims to have an 18 month shelf life. It retails for $82 on the Pat McGrath website and I'm thinking it'll come to Sephora soon. Also worth noting, it is made in Italy. Pat McGrath has some palettes made in the USA, some in Italy. Her Italian palettes definitely have the best formulas. They are the most creamy, the most smooth, the most pigmented. So I can't wait to open this one and see what is inside it. I'm going to show you before I even see it myself. Take a look right there. Oh my goodness, okay. Here is the palette. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be this dark. I feel like the shades look a little bit more vibrant when you see it online, but I'm not mad because I actually really like the darker vibe a little bit better. I cannot wait to try the purples, this dark blue, this green here. There are so many beautiful colors in this palette. I remember seeing a picture online where Pat McGrath was talking about like how she thought about the palette. It was something like anatomy of a palette or something, right? And they basically divided the palette into three six pan eyeshadow palettes. So this right here could be one palette. This is a really nice warm palette. And then the one in the middle with the blues and the purples was a third palette. So I think that's a really nice way of looking at it if you by any chance struggle creating looks with this one or you get overwhelmed or whatever because you have colors that you know are going to work really well together if you divide the palette like that in order to create looks. I was just questioning if I should swatch the palette like that or like this the way I usually do so that um, it could be divided into the three different color stories but I think I'm going to do it the traditional way and just go across with my swatches. So let's get started with the first row. The first color is Nightfall which is this beautiful matte super smooth brown. Then we have Cosmic Champagne which it is a very light beautiful champagne color third color is Nocturnal Navy, which is one of the ones I've been so excited to try, and that swatch looks a lot smoother than I thought it would for a blue shade. I feel like that's incredible. And then shade number four, Lunar Lavender, which sounded so familiar to me, and a lot of you told me in the comments of the video where I talked about it that Lunar Lavender is the name of a Kaleidos palette, and that's why I was like, I feel like that shade existed before. <laughs> But it hasn't. It is a brand new shade and it just looks like an extremely light, very shiny lilac. The last two colors on the first row are Auburn Allure, which is this really nice dark red matte, and Golden Angelica, which is your standard gold shimmer from Pat McGrath that has to be in every single palette. <laughs> Um, starting on row number two, we have the color Bronze Infatuation, which is the most buttery bronzy shade ever. Pretty common shade, but it's so shiny. I love it. And then Desert Divinity right down here, which is going to be a perfect transition color. 
Let's get going with the shade Eternal Amour, which is this beautiful frosty pink shade. And then one of the purples I'm excited about, Fabulosity. Really nice and smooth as well. I'm super excited about these mattes. Heavenly Bronze we have down here. This is a more gold shade than it is bronze, I would say. <laughs> um, so like a bronzy gold we'll call it and then the last color of the second row flame fatale which is a matte bright reddish type of color on the last row we have the color altered state which is this really nice smooth green then guilty opulence down here which is a gold with a green undertone i would say and then we have the color violet vixen which is another one of these purples i'm so excited about oh I could keep going. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never seen... <laughs> I've never seen a smoother purple. <laughs> the last three colors are Aquarian Dream, Venusian Peony, which is this really nice light matte pink, and then the last color is Starlit Copper which is just like the name says it, a copper shade. So take a look right here at all of the shades that come in this beautiful Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana palette. A really good combination of like brighter shades and your good old nudes to combine with them. And also a really good combination of mattes and shimmers in my opinion. By the way, everything swashed. I am super extra excited to play with this palette now because all of the shades are so buttery, so pigmented. I honestly didn't expect any less from Pat McGrath, but also because she's never done a lot of colorful shades like the ones she included in this palette, I thought maybe there was going to be a difference, but no. Every shade is so beautifully pigmented, so smooth. I'm pretty sure that these are all going to work fantastic on the eyes. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with the first look. I decided I'm going to do three looks rather than two. So for look number one, I want to start with the pink shade down here. And that is going to be my transition shade right on my crease. And I'm using a refer number 15 brush for this. I have the link to my refer brushes down below if anyone's interested. And I'm just going to back and forth swipe this color on the crease of my eye. A little bit more, I just want to intensify things a bit. And then with a refer number one, I'm grabbing this purpley shade and I'm going to tap it right on the outer corner of my eye. And with the tip of my brush, I'm going to start blending it upwards into that pinky transition shade that we have. Back with the refer number 15, just making sure there's no harsh lines. A little bit more of this purple shade, I want to intensify things a bit. Sometimes we get a little bit too blend happy and we lose the intensity of the shades. There we go. I'm loving the way that looks. I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to go into this more blue toned purple down here with my same ref for number one. And add this to the other third of my eyelid here to intensify things even more. Because why not? And once again with the tip of my brush, I'm blending it into the crease. This time not taking it as high as before. Just concentrating right here. With a refer number 28, I'm going back to this purple and I'm putting it on the inner third of my eyelid because I want to do a bit of a halo eye, but not with this intense of a purple on the inner corner. I'm just going to leave it with the lighter, lighter <laughs> purple on the inner corner only. And then I'm basically debating whether to go with this shade, that shade, or this shade on the center of my eyelid. One thing's for sure, I'm going to use this one on the inner corner. So with my refer number 28, I'm just going to grab a bit and place it right here. That is such a stunning inner corner color. Wow. That looks so good. Okay, I think I've decided. I'm going to go with the lavender shade. Still using my refer number 28 brush and I'm going to tap it all throughout the center of my eyelid. Oh, that looks so good. Tappity tap tap tapping right here. And then with my number one brush, I'm just going to go through the edges. Nothing added, just blending the edges a bit. Mm. Ah, that looks so pretty. I can't get over it. Oh my God. Okay. 
Let's keep going. I'm going to just use my refer number three brush with the darkest color we used, which was this intense purple shade. And I'm going to intensify the outer third of my under eye with it. I tapped off any excess from the number three brush and I'm going into the light lavender shade and I'm going to add it right under the center of my eye. Once again, I tapped off the excess, I'm going into the other purple and I'm going to add it to right underneath my tear duct area. I'm intensifying my inner corner so I can make it meet with my under eye colors here. And with a teeny tiny blending brush, this one being my refer number 13, I'm going to our original transition color and we are going to smoke everything out with it. So before I put any eyeliner in my waterline or anything like that, this is what things are looking like. But I am going to use a lilac eyeliner in my waterline because I think that's going to look so good. This one is from Glossier and you can find it along with everything that I'm using in today's video listed in the description box. Um, if you want to shop anything, especially this palette, please use the links I'm leaving you down there. Anyways, here's how things are looking like now that the eye look is finished. I am so loving this look. It is so pretty. Back with mascara and lashes on this right here is the final first look with this palette. These lashes are in the style Serendipity from Velour. I have a 20% off code with them. It'll be linked down below. And I forgot how perfect the Serendipity lashes are, especially for like halo eyes because they're tapered on the inside and then a little bit on the outside too and they just like enhance the look they look so pretty anyways look number one right here let's do something else on this eye <laughs> i'm going to start the second look with this taupey shade right here as my transition color and i clean my brushes so this is once again my refer number 15 and i'm just back and forth blending the taupey shade on the crease of my eye a little bit more on this outer part to intensify things a bit and blending it upwards I knew this taupey shade would be perfect and dang, it is so good. This is like a perfect transition color. I want to use the green shade in this look because I want to use my aquamarine mascara and I feel like it'll look good with this shade. So with the refer number one, oh, that is one intense green shade right there. I was saying with my refer number one, I'm going to apply it to the outer third of my eyelid and then with the tip of my brush start blending it upwards into the taupey color all right i guess i'm going like halfway in on the eye a little bit more green so that it stays nice and intense and on the inner part of my eye i want to use this color here this is going to be perfect so with my refer number two brush, I'm just going to add it to the inner half of my eyelid. This looks so glamorous. I love it so far. I need to find a way to make this shimmer and that green shade blend better. So I'm extending the shimmer back a bit. And with nothing added to my refer number one, I'm going to tap it over the edge. I think that worked and I really love the way this look is coming out. I really, really like this shimmer shade and the contrast that it makes with that green. Wow. I do have a little bit of fallout, so my under eye currently looks a little green as well, but I can fix that. <laughs> For the inner corner highlighter, I want to use the same shade as the previous look, and I'm just going to tap it right here. And for my under eye, back with the green, I'm going to blend it all the way to my tear duct area with a refer number three brush. And then with the taupey shade that we used as a transition shade on top and the refer number 13 brush, I'm going to smoke out the under eye area. I'm honestly obsessing over how good this looks. Wow. I love it. It looks so good. I feel like if I add the mascara to my bottom lashes, which was the plan I had, it's going to like cheapen the look because this looks so like glamorous what to do what to do <laughs> for the waterline i'm going in with a teal eyeliner from makeup geek that i love and it's the perfect color for this look check it out right there i love it i honestly really want to try this mascara so i apologize if i ruin it take a look at how beautiful and glamorous it looks right now you could totally just go for black mascara and some lashes and this would look incredible but i'm doing it <laughs> 
By the way, look how absolutely stunning this mascara packaging is. I love it. And the Dark Star Mascara is one of my all-time favorite mascaras, if not my all-time favorite mascara. It's amazing. <sighs> I like it. <laughs> I'm going to do my top mascara and my lashes and like wait for that to dry but like do you guys like it? Maybe you guys don't like it but I kind of like it. <laughs> Let me just be right back. Take a look I'm back with mascara and lashes on. I cannot get over it. I actually really like the mascara down there. It doesn't cheapen it that much although it did a little bit but it just made it more fun at the same time so nothing against the mascara it looks absolutely incredible down there and i'm very impressed that it shows up this much i feel like colored mascaras usually give you like a hint of the color but i don't feel like they usually show up this much so i'm very impressed with the mascara and i am obsessed with look number two over here it looks so incredible in my opinion i love that dark teal shade and this color right here on the inner part of the eye too oof i just i love everything about this look i love everything about both looks actually um they are also so very very different <laughs> and i don't want to wipe them off but i guess we will because i'm going to do a third look these are so pretty though say goodbye to looks two and one I took my beautiful eye looks off and I'm here to do a third one. Hopefully it's as pretty as the first two I did. <laughs> in today's video, I'm basically trying to focus on like all of the colors that I was very excited about. I already used the purples, I used the greens. So I think for look number three, I want to use the navy blue and we'll see what we combine it with. But that's where my mind is at right now. I'm once again going to start with my refer number 15 brush and I'm going to use the taupey shade as a transition color again and back and forth just blend this color on the crease of my eye up here adding a little bit more to the outer V of the eye and smoking it up now that my taupey shade is nicely blended I'm going into the navy blue shade with a refer number one brush I'm making it really nice and intense on the outer third of my eye back here and then with the tip of my refer number one I'm going to start smoking it up into my crease color Pretty much like we did with the green, I really like the way that came out, so I'm trying to do the same with the blue this time. Go back and make it more intense if you need to, I'm just pressing a bit more on the outer corner of the eye here. But this is kind of where I want you to be, nice and smoky up here, nice and intense on the outer corner. Again, like we did with the green. For the center of my eyelid, I'm grabbing my refer number two brush and I'm thinking I want this shade right in the center. This is such a pretty non-loud type of a pinky shade. I feel like it's going to go so well right here. So all the way from the inner corner, I'm just putting that color all throughout my eyelid. I'm thinking this was totally the right choice of colors. I'm really liking how this is looking. And with my refer number one brush and the blue shade, I'm just tapping over the outer edge so that these two shades mix better into one another. I really love the way this is looking so far. Let's keep going. With a refer number 28, I'm grabbing Lunar Lavender right here. And I'm going to use that one for the inner corner of my eye. And into the crease ever so slightly here so that it meets with the blue shade. With a pencil brush, my refer number three and the navy shade once again, I'm going to smoke out the under eye area, back and forth, all the way to the tear duct area down here. I'm smoking it out with the same taupey shade we use for the crease. And a refer number 13, Makeup Forever eyeliner in the shade Endless Blue. Back with mascara and lashes on, and this right here is the final third look absolutely love this one as well if i had to pick a favorite though i think maybe look number two is my favorite let me know what your favorite look was down in the description box but this one 
looks amazing as well and I cannot wait to continue to play with this palette. This palette literally makes me feel so inspired. I love the variety of colors in this palette and the endless amount of looks you could do with it. I definitely want to do a 5 looks 1 palette with this one so stay tuned for that. This look is also incredible. I really, really love it. And so my final thoughts on this palette are simple. The final thoughts are, get it. This is the holiday palette of the season. I love it. I really doubt that there will be any other palette that I like more than this one. And I know that this is a Pat McGrath palette. It's a pretty penny. But also you are getting 18 beautiful shades with an impeccable quality. Excellent performance. These blend like a dream. They are super pigmented. Literally not a bad thing I can say about them. The color story of this palette is amazing. You can go for more colorful looks like the ones that I did today. I really wanted to focus on them because it was what was different about this palette. Or you can also keep it much simpler and go for more like plain glamorous looks or more neutral looks because there is a little bit of everything in here. So it is a 10 out of 10, a 15 out of 10 actually highly recommended. I like this palette more than Mothership number 10. I can tell you that right now. This is the best Pat McGrath palette that has been released this year and possibly the best holiday one as well. Here it is in comparison to last year's palette and let me tell you last year's palette was an absolute hit for me. I really loved it and I think I might like this year's palette even better. I don't know, I just, I really have been into every single look I created today and I feel like we were asking Pat McGrath for some colorful eyeshadows for such a long time. This is an innovative palette for her and the colors, you guys saw them today, they perform like an absolute dream. And then I did want to show you it in comparison to the first holiday palette from two years ago right here, which was also a beautiful, beautiful palette, but again, I feel like I like this one even better. I don't think I'm going to do swatch comparisons in this video because I feel like these are new innovative colors for Pat McGrath. So I know that within the Pat McGrath line, I'm not going to find a dupe for this shade or that shade or this shade or that shade or even this shade right here. Like all of these are new to her line, so we're not going to be able to dupe them. And also they are the shades, in my opinion at least, that make this palette special. Now, like I said before, I will be doing a five looks one palette video with this new holiday palette from Pat McGrath because I am so inspired by it. So if you have any specific palette swatch comparisons you want me to do, with this one, let me know down in the comment section below. And in that video, I'll swatch it and compare it to any palette you want me to compare it to. As far as this first impressions video is concerned, I am done. I hope that you guys like the three looks that I did. I honestly am obsessed with them. I love them. If you like today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, my name is Patty. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay tuned for that five looks, one palette video. If you want the palette, my link is down in the description box of the video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.